So what is CINV? CINV is chemo-induced nausea and vomiting, and it varies from individual to individual of the intensity of that. Um, and truly, it is based on chemo-induced. Depending upon the chemotherapy, uh, what level of uh, nausea they're going to experience, what level of vomiting they're going to experience. And on top of that is the personal, uh, the fear of it. And I think that's probably the number one fear for our patients coming in when they hear they have cancer and they have to have chemotherapy. They always come up with the stories, well, my uncle had chemotherapy and he was so sick. And I think that is one of the number one fears is that, uh, regarding the nausea. Vomiting can occur, um, it can be an acute, it can be a, a delayed response. I think the biggest fear there for their patients and what they're telling us is the nausea. With the vomiting, we'll go immediately, we can give you the medications, but it's those patients that are walking around chronically nauseated for a couple of days. What we experienced is about 70% uh, of our patients actually did develop CINV. Uh, approximately 40% of those patients actually had to have a, uh, further treatment regarding fluids, nutritional support. Thus, number one, decreasing their quality of life. Number two, causing more time in a chair. And then number three, potentially delaying the next treatment because of the nausea and the vomiting. Uh, we treat that and we treat it intentionally, trying to come up early with it, talking to the patients, but just that personal fear of, I am gonna get sick, uh, and having to go through that on a psychological uh, basis with our patients. Some of the difficult aspects of treating CINV, you never know uh, what level they're on. We know which are very um, emetic uh, with the chemotherapy, but you never know what your patient's response is going to be. So again, we try to do this up ahead. We try to prevent the patients from having it um, or minimize it as much uh, possible. Really big with this is the quality of life. How is that patient, are they continuing to be able to work? Are they con continuing to be able to function? Uh, and what can we do to impact that? Uh, the other difficulty is if that patient's walking around with CINV, the nausea, uh, they're decreasing their intake, they're decreasing their fluid intake, their nutrition intake. So now you're also dealing with all the nutrition uh, aspect of that, needing and uh, not wanting to get them to a malnutrition or even beginning with the malnutrition because it just seems to uh, accumulate over time. So we really try to go in early talking to them and talking about the psychological aspect of just not feeling well. With the CINV, the treatment options, we use a multifaceted approach. Um, we are looking at, number one, we have IV medications that we can give right before the chemotherapy. We have oral medications that we can uh, utilize, and we also have uh, patches, the Sancuso patches. So we look at the patient, we're understanding where they're coming from, and we're analyzing, okay, which is gonna work the best for them. On top of that, even on the second uh, therapies, we're coming back and saying what worked, what didn't work. So we use the multifaceted. But with Cancer Treatment Center, we're not only are we using the medication approach, but we also use naturopathy. We have a, our naturopaths actually coming in, understanding um, as a team approach, physicians talking with the physicians, what are going to be utilizing, and then coming in and, and seeing what they can offer in regards to supplementation. Uh, up front, we're also using our nutritionists heavily with the nutrition, talking with the patient where they're at. Every patient, every time they come back to us, they're seeing the naturopathist, they're seeing the nutrition uh, in order to look at the whole aspect of it. Uh, with the Sancuso patches, what we have find is the advantage is we can actually put the patch on prior to chemotherapy. Number one, psychologically, that feel, makes the patient feel like we are being proactive with them. Um, and then we can keep it on to up to seven days. From our patient's standpoint and what they liked about it uh, with the Sancuso patch is the medications. And I've actually had patients tell me uh, one more pill, every time I take a pill, it reminds me that I'm sick. Every time I take a pill, and is it's just one more pill. And I, some of them are having difficulty swallowing. Some of them just are taking nutrition, nutritional supplements, and they just don't want to take one more pill. So we've utilized the Sancuso patches uh, to assist with that, especially the ones that have difficulty with the swallowing, and have had great success. The patients tell me, one more pill, I feel like I'm, I just, it's a reminder that I'm gonna be sick again. 
I can look in the mirror and do that. So, you know, we're talking with that patient, what's going to work, what's not going to work, um, giving them a little control. A lot of our patients fly in and out uh, for treatment. They may get their treatment today, fly out tomorrow morning, so you've got a lot of the delayed uh, aspect, aspects of the uh, nausea and vomiting. What do we do? They're on the plane, and you know how difficult it is to get something to drink on the plane. So this also gives us the coverage for our patients to fly back home. My primary goal when we're treating patients with CINV is number one, to include the patient in their care, understanding where they're at, understanding what do we need to do to take care of them, and to minimize, if not eradicate, the nausea and vomiting. And working with them over and over, what aspects work, and keep working with them in order to give them a better quality of life, for they can have that experience of coming back and saying, yes, I had chemotherapy, the drugs are tough, but they really do treat, and we have an arsenal of medications, an arsenal of individuals to help that patient, and giving them more tools in their toolbox, literally, to reduce the chemotherapy, induce nausea and vomiting.